again on the uh, 18th of September 2012 and it's Tuesday. Beautiful day here in Auckland, New Zealand. I'm just going to uh, explain what is uh, happening in Auckland as far as the uh, uh, City of Waitangi settlement is concerned and um, the um, authenticity of titles that are, are being run across their treaty claims uh, are investigating uh, with our own um, title. Um, that's for Kingi Kaudua, claim 774, uh, Ngāpuhi, uh, and his um, Rahiri uh, Hapu Tupuna uh, ancestor. Uh, his claim for uh, land and natural resources um, that's for the Bay of Islands, Waitangi, and uh, we are extending it over the Auckland area. And as far as I'm concerned, as his um, customary legal advocate, uh, assignee, uh, I'm drafting his um, amended uh, Y774 claim to include these areas outside of Waitangi. Uh, in fact, uh, Ngāpui claims um, go right over New Zealand and I want to identify who's who uh, in this uh, affidavit uh, that I'm going to put, put together, same as uh, Sue Nikoros. I will draft his one up in its entirety and that's um, the authority coming from Ngāpui. Uh, and it, uh, it, we only needed to do one hapu and the rest will follow. So. Kingi Taurua, uh, being the uh, um, Tamata uh, at uh, Titi Marai in Waitangi, uh, all of the um, authority from uh, Britain then, uh, now the Government of England, the partner to the Hapu Confederation, um, all the um, original documentation I have here uh, from several of the Confederation members who have passed away now and left that with me. And so I have the titles for Bay of Islands and the originals to go on, and the originals here in Auckland, uh, with the Manukau uh, Land uh, Company titles, and those uh, I've got complete. And uh, unfortunately for that, uh, Whakapapa, uh, it has, um, it has uh, taken um, a back seat as far as the Whakapapa uh, title uh, to um, to the um, confederation is concerned. So it's um, Ngāpui contract uh, agreement with the now government of England uh, and the king of England, King William the uh, Fourth. And just to make quite clear uh, that that's uh, um, uh, his admiralty law jurisdiction, uh, which allowed. Um, the immigrants to come here and occupy our lands in uh, Aotearoa, New Zealand, was because of that uh, admiralty law they applied from the king through the queen. And uh, but we are, are, are still here, uh, exercising our right uh, to use the admiralty law directly with our confederation flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence State Nation. Uh, which is drafted into statute law in um, uh, Westminster Parliament uh, and the Government of England. Its extent was then, still is now, and fixed. Uh, cannot be altered. The Government of New Zealand tried to uh, 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 take that, but they altered the Constitution, Section 71, self-government. That's our uh, own Constitution. They've altered it to suit themselves in Wellington, so they broke that uh, straight away by making the 1986 um, Constitution Act, uh, which once you touch a contract, it's null and void. So as soon as they did that and added principles to the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi, it was null and void, gone uh, forever. Uh, so we have that lined up against them. We have the Queen on this side, uh, with the government of New Zealand, and we have the king on the left side, which is the hapu. So the hapu 
has the decoration of an independent state flag. The Queen, on this other side, the Government of New Zealand, has nothing. They do not have authority from Westminster Parliament uh, drafted into law, as we have on the Hapu side. So that's uh, out for them. And all the uh, contemporary, uh, contemporary uh, history for um, uh, Ngāpui, that takes second uh, 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 title goes underneath this main one, which is the bloodlines of Ngāpui. They are the surnames that are original to the uh, uh, signing of that contract with the government of England, like now, the government of England. So only bloodlines, surnames, real ones, I know which ones they are, can sign this affidavit, and that's the correct title uh, to the Confederation. Nobody else. No, no one else has, um, can do that but Ngāpui. Right? So I'm just saying that clearly to set the record straight um, when we put this affidavit out to the public uh, to be refuted. And if they don't refute the new King Itaurua, Ngāpuhi title, then it becomes law, or is already law, because we already passed it up in the Confederation in front of the Governor General, and then sat in and, and sacked them, and the Queen sent them off. They're still operating, so that means they're in treason to this affidavit title. So we can get uh, to the UN and get uh, warrants to remove them. Okay, I'm just telling us a true story, and I'll be doing all the paperwork for that, and uh, all, all already done soon, chorus affidavit with her, the words, you'll see the words in her affidavit uh, are, are like the other 3,000 plus affidavits I've got here to back this one that I'm, go I'm going to do for Kingi and myself, uh, Wainoa Moai uh, is Tahitian so we're both Tahitian by blood, by um, original surnames and original um, time of the signing of this um, um, 1835 Declaration of an independent state. Uh, so that's the only way you can get a, a, a sovereign sovereignty recognised in the UN, in Westminster, and also in the Government of England, where our higher authority comes from uh, to draft all these laws, new laws of the sea, under Admiralty Law. Well, I'll be drafting those uh, to go right over the top of the maritime law here, and the Government of Wellington, uh, as usual, to go into the seabed. They can't go into the seabed now, after this is drafted, and we'll make sure that it goes through uh, Parliament and in front of the um, uh, Office of Treaty Settlements um, hearing and with uh, King Kaurua and his hapu, uh, Rahiri, and also he's got other hapus that can come in too and claim the um, title uh, of the Confederation. I know which ones. Yeah. No offence to the other... Um, contemporary um, hapu uh, history, history with Pākehs mixed up in the uh, bloodlines uh, but they must wait for these originals to uh, take, to, take the, uh, the correct title back to where it was in time uh, so this claim extends to uh, uh, from Waitangi Bay of Islands uh, uh, Kenny's claim for the uh, land and natural resources uh, down to Auckland, the Ngāpuhi boundary area of his Y774 claim, Rahiri Tupuna as one of the Hapu claimants. So he's just one of them. They only need one uh, to complete the whole exercise. Uh, so we're going to use these documents uh, to stamp uh, our Tahitian uh, founders of this country, state. Uh, and as you can see, Moai statue is buried deep into the soil. And wherever those Maui real ones are, then we have that title here. There's one in Auckland, uh, up at the museum. That's a real Maui statue. You'll see it on my website uh, and Facebook as the Mana Whenua. Once it hits the ground, that's the Mana Whenua. There's nothing else that can go close to Tahitian history here. We, 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 we were here first, and so that's telling the world and everybody watching this video uh, that uh, we are down in history in uh, Westminster Parliament as such, right, under the Confederation. The Confederation is the landowner as far as the British and the Government of England 
and um, everybody there is concerned. They are the owners of this land. That's on the commercial corporate side of that flag, the trading flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence State flag, is, is the corporate law and the corporate uh, commercial uh, operations of free trade right through the world and free passage um, for our ships, our planes, boats, and that's what we're going to be doing now when we get our funding together at the UN. And uh, I'll be drafting all their papers for Kingi and his uh, um, um, membership up in uh, Titi Marae. And um, that'll, that'll be the direct um, bloodline um, owners, land owners, uh, talking to you. Okay? Now I come up behind with the Moai as a spiritual customary title. That's the overarching uh, um, s uh, claim to the land. That's all over the world. That's our trademark and our patent right and our intellectual, higher intellect, um, superior title. Okay, so confederation, supreme title. Moai, superior title. Okay? That's the difference between the two Tahitian titles. The history of Ngati Whātua and those who are not bloodlines in this Auckland super city boundary area of this uh, supreme title and the Ngāpuhi Confederation and their admiralty law use and use that law of the seas title are determined in this affidavit affidavit that I'm putting together I think and um, <coughs> as the original male bloodline DNA Hakapapa, matching Kingi Taurua the surname Taurua and um, Rahiri Kupuna so that's just one uh, title example there are other uh, Ngāpui uh, chiefs uh, also, but they don't need to all come rushing in, we we'll just use one and the Taumata, just the main, main Marae, uh, as the um, uh, Maui um, uh, common law court. Okay, that's our common law court on the Maui. That's where we draft all these laws and overarch, over, overrule the government of Wellington. You will have an opportunity to refute this store, sworn affidavit and after which time it will be drafted into Statute Act of Ad Admiralty Law of the Seas under Kiri Taurua uh, Taumata uh, Admiralty. Okay? He's an admiral in the absence of the king. Until another king comes along, uh, he assumes that role to administer the seabeds and the oceans internationally. Wherever our flag goes, wherever our ships go, wherever our planes go, that flag has precedence over everybody in the world, including America. They don't have that uh, of their own indigenous flag from Westerns, only us Tahitians, okay? Maori, Tahitians, not that boy. Maori's not good. Hapu. Okay, cross the iwi up, cross the Maori up, you'll end up with Hapu. Okay? That's the authority. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> the ruling authority is at Waitangi, where the British signed and the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi documents of title are to be removed off the land. So that's why I put on the uh, Facebook uh, of the obelisk, the offensive obelisk of the corporate crown company in Wellington. Once that's cut down, they're gone. That's, they've got no more title. That's their title. And all the other obelisks around on the churches, that's the Church of England titles, they're gone. The Catholic Church's title, they're gone. All the obelisks of the uh, Freemasons, they're gone. So it's up to the Hapu to decide whether they want them on their land or take them off. I just warn you people out there that these things are real. Arahiri Hapu represents one of the original male DNA Hapu that covers the rest of the, the traditional Hapu claimants of indigenous uh, proven male dominant surnames. Uh, only uh, the only ones who will be able to sign this um, affidavit, only the original surnames uh, from Tahiti. Uh, this sworn affidavit is to serve notice on the Crown Corporation uh, Government of New Zealand to take their mortgages, loans and go back to England. So this has already happened with uh, Anna and Satanay. The Governor General was sacked by the Confederation, Sunakora and the Maori Government in Congress uh, in front of the Navy uh, who witnessed this and so they can't say it didn't happen it did happen the event did happen now they're in treason right from that day we're going to build them on this affidavit we will build John Key 
as much as we like because we've got a cap on it, a trillion trillion pounds in gold bullion. This is a statement I make as Moai uh, um, Crown. That's real crown with the hat on his head, which is the higher intellect of ours in uh, rock uh, form. That's carved with signature on his back uh, as our proof of claim that he's standing in uh, Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London uh, as our authority. That that belongs to us. That belongs to Tahitians. And uh, also we have the flag. That belongs to Tahitians as well. Um, uh, from King William IV um, authority. Uh, so we've got two things in London. The Moai statue uh, as, as supreme, superior title holder uh, of the land and um, connected to us. Okay, that belongs to us. They've stolen it. It's theft. We'll, we'll, we'll build them, build the Queen for stealing it. And uh, uh, the church is at that. So the church is, uh, is are, uh, up to Ford, murder and, and a few more things on top of it, as you will see on Facebook and around the world. So we put, we put our affidavits and our bill, charge debt on them before she changed her name from Her Majesty to the Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Supreme Governor of the Church of England. So the churches uh, are wanting to stamp their title to of our land. Now I'm afraid they are uh, mistaken and we will remove them uh, with this affidavit of Kingi Kauru and Noah. Okay? And if you can't refute it, if anybody in this country cannot refute it. So the, um, while Moai uh, holds the Tahitian customary title, ownership of the Mana Whenua, as Mana Whenua, um, and uh, that's already explained that he's into the earth itself uh, on East Island as title. That's, that's, that's Mana Whenua. That's why he's buried with his signature in the ground he belongs to. So that's the same, no different to the Moai up here in Auckland. Uh, in the museum, that's our title, the same Maui from our, our same Tahitian um, uh, lineage DNA title holder. So no one can change it. Uh, the authors of Tikanga Maori, the authors of Tikanga Maui, M O A I, law, L O R E, are the authors of Tikanga, the law itself. Uh, Tikanga, the highest, purest law in the world. Uh, is God's law okay, that belongs to us Tahitians or as it is seen in the modern contemporary law, Kitanga Maori law uh, which is corrupted and used fraudulently for commercial gain uh, the government uses here and the Maori um, uh, land court uh, so the Moai confederation, is called it Moai confederation because that's two together on this new title um, will now bill charge debtor, the Queen, and all her uh, agents on this side, backdated to 1835, even as early as 1830, will backdate them on that trillion, trillion pounds in gold bullion uh, amount we put against her name and lean on her and everything here in New Zealand. So we'll just take everything in Auckland and build it against the Queen and she can pay everybody their money back and uh, they can go home if they want to, and uh, that's up to the hapu here. Okay. Uh, so we'll build that to the Queen of England, the Crown, uh, that's uh, Rothschild Banks. They get uh, a share of that bill debt of a trillion, trillion pounds in gold bullion, and also the government of Wellington, John Key's government, and all his governments right back to when they started uh, this fraud off and corporate fraud. Uh, uh, as they've got caught now with Sue Cora and her affidavit there uh, in Gisborne. Right? And Ngāti Pro Iwi, they're horribly caught now. It's uh, Ngāpui Iwi now. That's a Crown Corporation under Māori, M-A-R-I, M-A-O-R-I, uh, um, which is a, a word made up by the Crown itself. So Māori's nothing to do with Hapu as far as the word is concerned. It's created or invented by Pākehā. Uh, so the same, um, we will build the, the uh, offenders uh, and um, uh, repugnant uh, crown agents of, uh, of the Queen and of the corporate companies here, 
all the corporate companies here in New Zealand, let's make this quite plain, they'll be billed. Every corporate company in Auckland and around the country will be billed uh, the amount they've taken out of their resources that belong to Hapu and uh, never gave us anything. Uh, so the iwi uh, uh, takes all the money from its own self, the Crown, and the Hapu is still uh, grieving. It never gets anything from the treaty uh, settlements. So we are going to wrap this one up in front of Chris Fonson and in a hearing um, and uh, do the same thing again with him, uh, with Kingi Todawa and uh, just a few of us. There'll only be three of us there and, um, to do it. And so that, that's it. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, so we're investigating uh, where, the, where the Crown gets its authority from uh, to uh, administer admiralty law, uh, uh, where they get it from. That's, that's a question I'd like to ask every politician and everybody in this country, how did you get here, or what means did you get here in this country by, if it wasn't by Hapu and the Confederation flag and its admiralty <coughs> jurisdiction and constitution. So I'd like to see uh, how they're going to get out of this one. The iwi, uh, which is the Crown's uh, the corporate companies, all the corporate companies, how they're going to get out of this one. And John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, and his uh, appointed Governor-General, um, Jerry Mataparai Andrews. Uh, got a lot to answer uh, against the hapu, Kingi Tauru, and myself, Maui, uh, um, direct descendant and uh, authority over these lands, all right? And Ngāpui uh, chiefs, uh, the owners of the confederation, okay? So uh, that's all I, I want to say for now. And uh, thank goodness it's, it's uh, um, not rainy and no noise. I'm all the machinery going next door, uh, putting up a nice new building. So uh, to Kingi Tauru uh, and his taumata and their titi marae, uh, I do this uh, specially for you because I now know uh, that the Manukau um, claim, the Y121 and all of the other Ngati Whātua claims uh, history is uh, being fabricated into the Pākehā uh, contemporary uh, um, history. And so I've got all that now. I, I can decipher from that uh, who they are and where they fit into Ngāpuhi's whakapapa and uh, into their uh, uh, bloodlines. Okay? Uh, so the, the other uh, Arawa uh, people that came into the Kaipara uh, married into Ngāpuhi and Ngāpuhi only fought to save its land from being taken. In fact, it's still there and um, we just need to change the, uh, uh, the landlord in Wellington and uh, carry on with our own uh, Maori government um, um, from Tiki Marae in Waitangi and here in Auckland uh, we'll set up um, a uh, confederation uh, from uh, uh, the, how we do this um, with him and his uh, Ngāpū people. So I'm uh, just to Reiterate what I've done with uh, the Manukau claim. It's come from Glasgow, the title, and that was uh, more than forged uh, by the uh, uh, Celtic, uh, Scottish people, onto the land in the Kaipara, and now I know why Mohi Manukau sold the land, and Iri Manukau, his son, is um, never came back to see his father. And I did six years of the Manukau claim, enough to now know uh, it's uh, all about Ngāpuri. Uh, it was unfortunate that I went uh, uh, against Ngāpuri at that time, but now I know uh, they're the same as me. Uh, Tahiti, origin, and um, we're doing our own um, title uh, to put the record straight. So all of this is on record, and uh, I just wanted to explain uh, fully uh, that uh, things are changing back to where they were and we'll just put the commercial value on the land and everything on it stuck to it uh, and its original title because the Crown is still paying the wrong people in treaty settlements. All those settlements you see are wrong. You'll find in Ngāti Pro 
has been wrong in claiming to be Hapu when they're not, it's a corporate person with a name called Te Runanga Nui or Ngati Pro is not a real person. So all of that the claim of Ngapui, um, Te Runanga or Ngapui, Iwi, it's going to be the same and every other Iwi in this country is crowned, paying the crown the money. And so this will put that right. This will put that right. Okay? So uh, to all those people uh, in, uh, in uh, Bear Islands, in Ngapui, uh, and down here in uh, Auckland, uh, kia ora, and let's uh, do this uh, the right way, through the Confederation, thank you. and Moai. Title. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.